Good afternoon. Um, my name is Jody Truman. I'm the financial specialist for Child Nutrition. Today, we're going to be reviewing the October survey, which is due before you can submit your October claim. The survey is based on each school's free and reduced eligibility percentages based on the free and reduced meal applications that were submitted. It's very important that the data is accurate. So I'm going to be going over each of the three different participation models um, that, that you have signed up for. So we have regular provision two or CEP. Before I continue, I just wanna remind everybody that this webinar is being recorded and it will be on our website later this week. And if you have any questions, please put them in the chat box. So I am going to be viewing, you're gonna be seeing my screen, which I am in the test site in CMP web. And I will be showing you step-by-step -step using the October survey quick guide found in the help tab. So we're gonna go through each step right now. So obviously we're at the main welcome page. We're gonna log in. We're going into CNP, not CNP, SNP. <laughs> and we are in 2024. All right, my screen looks a little bit different than what you see. Um, there we go. So the first model we're going to look at is regular and provision to base year. So this is base year. If you do not know which, um, if you're a base year or if you're non-base year, um, what you're gonna do, or we'll just go into this Acton right here. So if you do not know what you, if you're CEP, provision two, you can go right into your application on the site information sheet and just click the eyeball and then go down to your lunch program. And you can see right here, it's regular claiming. Uh, it would say provision two or CEP. Um, and if you're provision two, your base year is indicated on number 40. So if it's your base year, it would be 2024 is what would be right here. And then you can just exit. And then we are going to, oops, before I go here, um, I wanted to show you the help tab. So this help tab, you're just gonna click the help and help documents. And you'll see right here is the October survey quick guide. So you're gonna click this PDF right here and download it. Um, and that's how you get the guide. All right, so we're gonna go back to the forms tab. So on, we're gonna be going to the October survey, which is right here. I will tell you that this will not be active until end of day tomorrow. Um, so after 4 p.m., um, it'll be live. So you'll be able to see it. Right now, you cannot, it, you cannot access it. So you're gonna click this plus button and we are now in the um, October survey. So the first thing you're gonna do is your total enrollment. So this is your total school enrollment as of October 31st. So whatever um, that number is, we're just gonna make up, make up a number. We're gonna say 243 here. And then based on the uh, your free eligible, based on applications in DC by grade, you're gonna, <clears throat> excuse me, you're gonna just plug some numbers in and I'm just gonna do that right here. Okay, and reduced again, based on your applications. We're gonna do some meal applications. Okay, and we're gonna say this school um, only goes up to eighth grade, so everything else is zero. 
providing my math is correct. <laughs> um, I just have one site here. There's only one school site here. If there were, if there was more, if you had more sites, school sites, they'd be listed below. Um, so then I am going to check that I am going to submit it to the state for approval. And then I am going to hit save. And as this says, I have, it's confirmed and it's pending approval. And then you can just exit. If you had errors, um, which would be addition errors. So if I entered 10 here and tried to save it, oh, it's still giving me, oh, I did not know it was going to do that. That shouldn't have done that. It, um, interesting. Sarah, if you're watching, we need to look at this. <laughs> One more thing. So it should have, um, it should be totaling, like it should give you an error message if this, oh, that's why, because it's paid. We're not seeing paid. You're not indicating paid here. So that is why it's not giving an error message. We are only um, recording free and reduced. So you have your numbers here um, and your total is gonna be over here. So if you double check these numbers here from what you, what you're, whatever you're using to fill this out and make sure these numbers match your numbers. If they're not, you can go in and, and change that. Um, so once you, like I said, once you're done, you can just hit the number one to certify it and submit it. And that is it. So that is, that's pretty easy, straightforward for regular claiming and your base year provision two. I will say once you have completed your October survey, you'll not change the data um, unless we have found an error, um, we'll contact you. Um, this would apply for base year provision two applications that are being reviewed um, that we may ask you to go back in and revise, uh, make revisions. Um, so I wanna take, uh, before I move on to provision two, and CEP, I just want to ask if there are any questions uh, regarding what I just talked about. Um, put your questions in the chat box, please. Put your questions in the chat chat box, please. Um, I'm going to wait a few minutes, just a couple seconds. Um, so I am going to stop after each model um, and ask for any questions. Just a heads up on that. Um, so as I, there are none right now, I will at the next, after I finish the next one, I will, um, if you have any from this one, we'll answer, I'll answer those as well. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to schools that are in their non-base year for, for provision two. <clears throat> now this one is a little bit different. The provision two schools are gonna use the free and reduced eligibility percentages that were determined in the base year. If you do not know what your base year percentages are, you need to go back to the October survey from last year. So how you find that is you're gonna go into the report section and you're gonna go into sponsor reports and there's the per percent free and reduced ED 534 by district. We're gonna hit the printer we want to go into our base year. So our base year was 2023. If it was before that, you would click one of another year. But um, the one I'm going to be going into, their base year was last year. And you can select all and see everybody, or you can just select the school that you are, that you have. So I'm going to be looking at RSU 6. So we generate. And there it is. So there we have our base year. This was reported last year, your base year from your free and reduced meal applications. Um, enrollment, there's your free number, the percent, free percentages, the re reduced number and the reduced percentage. We are taking the free percentage, the 15.9 and the reduced 5.16 for Bonnie Eagle. Um, that's the one we're gonna be looking at because the Bonnie Eagle is in their second year for provision two. So each, please note that each one is a different percentage depending on 
Um, so you're going to want to, it may, a district may have CEP and provision two and regular, they may have all three. So you just want to make sure you get the correct percentage uh, for the school that you're looking at. So we are looking at Bonnie Eagle, the 15.95% for free and the 5.16 for reduced. Okay, we're going to exit out. We're going to go to RSU. Six. Okay, so we're going to our forms tab, which is where the October survey is. It's the same thing. Hit the plus sign. All right, so Bonnie Eagle. So here you're going to start with putting your enrollment, total enrollment for that school. We are going to say that this year there's 1,200 students at Bonnie Eagle. Now, remember, our free percentage was 15.95%. When we do that percentage of 15, 1,200 times the 15.95%, we get 191 free students. So 12th grade is the highest grade level for Bonnie Eagle. So we're going to put that total right there, 191. For reduced... Again, we're going to do the 1,200, and that reduced rate was 5.16%. And that, when you do that calculation, it's 61.92, but we are going to indicate 62 because we're using um, rounding procedures for that. So that would be 62, and that's our number. So, and you would continue to do that for each one of your schools. Um, are there any questions for provision two? Does anybody have any questions or questions from the last one? No. Nope. All right. Not yet. Not yet. All right. So again, you're going to go through and submit all of your data. You're going to check number one when you're finished. If you're not finished, if you're starting it, you can go back and hit save and the data saves. Um, and once you're done, you can click the, you just go back in with a pen. The pen is for editing. Go back with a pen and then finish your October, uh, finish your data. We do have some questions. We do have some questions. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes, need to use the Q and A. The chat box isn't working. Thank oh, you. sorry. It's okay. RSU3 base year was 2020, but when I tried to run the report, I got an error message that there are no report records. Why? Yeah, because we were in NEO then. Um, I believe 2020, let me, I'm not in live. So if, let, so you would need to go back to the letter David sent you for your base year percentages. I believe it may be uploaded and I'm in the test site, so I will check this at the end. Um, but I believe we uploaded uh, that letter on your checklist tab. Um, let me just, so on this checklist tab, at the bottom, provision to base year signed agreement. So I would check there. Um, you can view, there's nothing here, but you can view it and see if those percentages are there. Um, so if you don't have your agreement, if you haven't saved that or you don't know where it is, um, you can call myself or David um, and we can get that for you. Can you do the math again, please? Yes, I certainly will. Do, do, so forms. Let's go back. So remember we had to, this is base year, non-base year for provision two. So I want, again, I'm just going to pull, we're going to go to the reports. We're going to go to the sponsor report, the free and reduced percentage, whatever your base year was. So 22 was 21, 22. I can't remember which one, either 21 or 22 was our first year in CNP web. Boy, time flies. Um, so we're going to go to 23. And I was in RSU 6. So you would click whatever school you are. Generate report. 
All right. So I was in Bonnie Eagle. So your schools are all going to be listed here. And you're going to look for this percentage right here, 15.95%. So oh, I'm not going to, it's, I can't click my calculator if you won't see it. But what you're going to do is you're going to do, I had said there were 1,200 students in Bonnie Eagle. Bonnie Eagle. So you do the 1,200 students times 0.1595. And then you get the total of 191. Um, or you can do the 1215.95 and then click the little percent icon and you can get the get the um, figure that way. And then you're going to do the same thing with a reduce. The total enrollment is 1200 times the 5.16 percent. Did you say to round the percent down or up? Round it up. Round it up. What happens if your district isn't listed when you try to generate your report? That is odd. Why? <laughs> um, it should be there. I am. I. If this is your first year, yeah, give me a call. I'm not sure why. So give me a call and I can figure that out for you. It should be there. The student total should be at the highest grade level of the building, correct? Correct. That is correct. That's if you're provision two, non-base year. If you're regular claiming or base year provision two, you're gonna actually put in each of the grade levels at each grade level. Could you do one more example of the provision two non-base year calculation? Yes. All right, so I just, so from this, you're gonna, again, go to your reports, get your ED 534 from the whatever school, I mean, whatever um, what whatever your base year was. Um, and we were using the 15.95% for free and 5.16 for reduce, but it depends whatever school you're looking at, you're gonna go to that percentage. And then you're gonna go back to the October survey. And I had, and so in, on your total enrolled for that, this site, this school um, is 1200. Cause it's probably gonna be different than last year. That's not what we saw on the ED35, ED34 for last year. So it's whatever this year's total enrollment is as of October 31st. So 1200 students, I'm gonna take the 1200 students times the 15.95% for free, and that total equaled 191. And then I'm gonna take 1200 times the 5.16%, and that equaled 61.92, I believe. And so, but we are gonna call that 62 because we're using standard rounding procedures for that. And I will say that <clears throat> just as a reminder, um, this October survey, when you, I don't know if you're going to see it. Let's see if you, I don't think you're going to see it. It's taking too long. But if you look at your October survey, um, I do give examples in the October survey. Let's see if you can see this. Can you see that? Did it change? Yeah, yeah. yeah I don't think. We're using a different, we're using Zoom, which we're all a little <laughs> getting used to Zoom. So, but in that help tab, I do give examples. So you can always go there um, and look as well. Are there any other questions? Okay. <laughs> so we are in our second year of provision two. We're yep. in elementary school and go through eighth grade. Where will I record the final numbers for free and reduced in the eighth grade column? That is correct. How many decimal points are used for rounding up? Is it based on traditional rounding after 0.5 round down, under 0.5 round down? 0.5 round up. Yep, 0.5 round up. Total enrollment for this year? So I guess the question, I'm assuming the question is, you're using at each school, you're using your total enrollment for that one school. 
So whatever your total enrollment is, as of October 31st, that is the number that you're using um, on this first part right here. Okay. I have another question about the rounding. Do we always round up or do we use standard rounding procedures? Use standard rounding procedures. You may continue, Jody. There are no more questions at the moment. Okay. Yeah, there are, I mean, that standing rounding. So we do indicate if there's different rounding procedures, we do indicate if it's if it's not standard rounding procedures are used. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to CEP. All right, so we're gonna go to, I'm gonna use Caswell or CEP. All right, so for CEP, it's again, a little bit different. The same principles for the percentages, but um, where you find your percentage is, is a little bit different. So we're gonna go into the application for how each site. So this is the school that is a CEP. And as you can see, when we move down here, we, there's our CEP data and, oh, I shouldn't have used this because it's 100%. That's not good. It's not very exciting. Sorry about that. <laughs> so whatever this, the, it's 100. So number 33 is the, is the free claiming percentages, percentage. This is your, this, it's this percentage that you're using. Um, whatever that may be. In my example in the um, help tab, um, it's actually 63.14 is for whatever site I pulled, pulled my example from there. So whatever percentage this is, let's, this is what you need for the year that you're in, which they all should be the same. So we're gonna exit here. We're gonna go to the forms tab and we're gonna go to October survey plus. All right, so here um, we're gonna say, doesn't even matter, there are 120 students. Our percentage that we had was 100. So that means 120 is gonna be listed in, as free. And we're gonna say it's at the sixth grade is the, oops, sixth grade is the, is the highest grade level. Um, and you're gonna put your 120 there and zero for reduced. If, you know, that percentage was like the 63.10 that I use in my example, it's the same thing. You're gonna use 1200, I mean, sorry, one, yeah, 120 times your 63.10% um, and that, total, I don't know, let's see what that total would be. And I don't think you can see my calculator. Can you see my calculator, Paula? No. So 120 times 63.10% is 63. So why did, oh, so it would be 63 here. If it was 63, oh, that's easy, 63. Okay. <laughs> So, but the one we were using is 100%, so it's 120. Then once we're done, we're going to check it, check the certification box, and hit save, and then exit, and it'll be pending approval. So that one's a, that one's pretty that one's pretty easy. Again, it's at the highest grade level. You're going to put that put your um your answer, your data for um the eligibility and that is it, believe it or not, for each. So we went over regular claiming with the base year provision two. We went over the provision two non-base year and we went over CEP. And just as a reminder, that help tab with your help document and I give examples and so forth through um, through this. Did we have any questions? Caller.
RFP3. All right, let's see. We're just gonna go. Oh, um, I'm gonna give you one more example for RSU3. Um, we'll see if I'm in, I'm in the test site. So let's see. Oh, I'm in 20, how did I get into 20? Oh, because I'm doing the applications. We don't have an application started. Let me. Oh, sorry guys. Applications. Monroe Elementary. They are not CEP. So I'm not sure why. Someone just suggested I look at RSU3. I'm not sure which one. I don't know. So we are going to go back and I want to look at RSU20 because I am. I just said I would go back to look at this before I move on. No, the base year agreement is not there. So, um, so call David Hartley, and he can give you your base year uh, percentages if it's if it's not listed um, in the report because it was Neo at the time. So any anything Neo, um, you would have to talk to David. All right. And what was, is there another question, Paula? There is, Jody. Is it the same percentage if you have multiple CEP schools? No. Well, the best, it de depends if you've grouped them or not. If you've grouped them in, if you've formed a group <laughs> and, you, and you, to get a better CEP. So those would be the same, but to be safe, I would, I would just go into each school and just verify that percent that you're getting the correct percentage. So some may and some may and some may not. That's it. All right. So I do want to go over um, one thing for claiming. Um, I just because we've been seeing um, we had seen some. Oops. A few, um, I don't know. We just want to make sure some people people understand because this this has gotten a little confusing for some. So this eligibility information, it kind of goes like what we've just been talking about, about with the October survey. Um, this though may change every month. So every month you may have, and this is for regular or regular claiming and um, base year provision two. And we'll, we can look at the other two um, as well. But you are gonna put your total free eligible children in the school um, and you're gonna do it at the highest, whatever, cause it may, your claim it, your percentage is gonna make change based on your applications. If people leave, if people come, um, come or go, um, it may change. So this is whatever it is for the month, whatever you're free, eligible, reduced and paid is for the month. So this is number 10 should always equal your total enrollment for that month. Um, for, um, let's go to a provision two. Provision two, you do not put any data. The data is done for you. Um, and I believe this is gonna be pulled off your, um, this data will be will be your October survey. Um, once that's finalized, um, that, that's, that's what we'll show here is whatever your October survey is. And then CEP. 
as well. You're only putting your free, I'm sorry, your total, I believe. Yep, you're only putting in your total enrollment. So this is total enrollment here. So that's what you're putting for your eligibility for the month, okay, is your total enrollment. All right, is there any questions? Any other questions? No? Nothing? Nothing, wow. Well, um, that is it in a nutshell. <laughs> if you have any questions uh, on what we've gone over, uh, please call. Um, remember that help tab is your lifeline and we always put whatever we ask you to do, um, the help guides are here. So um, always kind of go here first um, because everything um, we know is, is we listed in the help document. Sometimes we ourselves forget what we're supposed to do. So, <laughs> and I think we do have maybe... Another question. We're trying to figure it out. <clears throat> what if your CEP end in provision two? There's a typo in there, so I'm trying to figure it out. So what if your CEP and in provision two? So you can only be in, you can't be in CEP and provision two. You're only in one of the other, unless... You're, you're, unless you started the year in provision two, I'm guessing maybe, and you switched to CEP, maybe that's the question. Um, I'm going to say. Oh, and oh. provision two. So for your October survey. So you, your school is, each school that you have is either provision two or CEP or regular plan. I'm like, it's it's one or the other for your school, but you may have multiple schools and in each school you may have, it may be a CEP school or regular or provision two. So it's, it's based, you're doing your October survey based on your school for the October. So let's go to, let me go back in the test site, because that's where it's opened. So I don't know, I'm really not sure what, what the question is. So we were, oh, let's look at a multiple school. Um, We'll do Auburn because Auburn, I know Auburn's multiple. October survey. All right. So each, so as we can see here, there's three schools listed here. So you're gonna, so Auburn Middle School, it's whatever, whatever they're they're participating in. It could be provision two, could be regular claiming. Um, so you're gonna fill in this data based on that school's participation. And then the next school, you're going to do the same for the next school. You're going to, whatever East Auburn Community School is participating, that's how you're going to answer these questions and use the percentages based on each school. Okay, so if you have, if, I don't know if I answered that or not for you, but if you, if you have, if that doesn't make sense, give me a call and maybe your situation is a little bit different or, or cause some, I know we had some schools that started out the year a certain way and then switched over um, that may have switched to a different uh, participation. So give me a call and I can walk you through what you're um, on how to handle that. And one more question. What if your claims percentage for free is different than the report free percentage? My site claim is 48.9 and reports yep. is 47.29. So your claim, so your claiming is different than, so I'm assuming you're talking about your provision two and your claiming percent, you're looking at your claiming percent. 
So when we do the October survey, it's based, so your claiming percent is for provision two is based on who ate on your eligibility of students that ate a meal. When we're doing the October survey, we want to know um, the applications, the results from your applications. So that has no bearing on who ate or not, where the claiming percent has to do with the students that ate. That's, it's it's a different, it's, it's two separate things. If you have any further questions, you can give me a call. But that's why for provision two, we're going back back to your base year, because um, we need to know that's what we're going by, your, your free and reduced eligibility based on your base year. Any other questions? No? Looks like we're good. So if there are any other questions, um, give me a call. I do have open office hours. Look at the Thursday update for that information. Remember, October survey will be opened, um, opened on end of day tomorrow, you can start the first, you cannot do a claim until um, you finish your October survey, until that's completed. It does not have to be approved, but it has to be submitted without any um, errors. And so make sure you check that bottom box to certify it. If that, this must be checked to certify, um, that way, Hopefully it goes into error because we didn't know. Oh, interesting. <laughs> so we want it to say pending approval. Um, we want to make sure that has pending approval right there. Um, and then you should, your claim should be able to, should be able to open up. Yep. And it can. All right. And that's all she wrote. <laughs> um, thanks for joining me today. And I hope you have a great rest of the day.